Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am very excited um, to do one of the um, shortest and most um, emotionally heart-wrenching videos I can be doing, which is how I did my makeup in high school. I'll hold for applause. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Um, I wasn't sure if I should because there's not much to make a video about. As you'll see, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be short, and it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be really bad makeup. So, we're just gonna get into it. Okay, I've got my mirror. I've got my hair done. Looks nothing like I did in high school, but when I was in high school, I did not have any jewelry. So, we're gonna take these out. The one thing I can't take out is my Helix because um, I don't wanna take it out and then not be able to get it back in. So firstly, I think this is the one I used in high school. The Wet n Wild Foundation. But the first time I ever bought foundation, I um, didn't know anything. So I said, oh, I'm pretty light. I'll just get the lightest shade. And I got like an All May foundation. So the lightest shade of an All May foundation is um, the color of like the sun when you look right into it. I'm gonna mix in some of my white pigment just to really bring it back and let us know exactly what was going on. I actually got a tan yesterday, so this is gonna be shock. This is gonna be shocking. Um, for any of you who wanna unsubscribe now, I'd, I'd recommend it before you get your eyes burned off. You might be saying, Gordon, why are you going right in? You're not even putting any primer on or um, moisturizing or doing anything of the sort. That's because I never did anything of the sort. I just went straight in with foundation. I went to high school between 2014 and 2018, which was like peak beauty YouTube age. Um, there we go. It's perfect. Like, that was the age of Jeffree Star and James Charles and Manny MUA. That was the, the forgotten age of beauty YouTube dinosaurs. So I really used to be artistic as a child. I used to love to draw. And I got out of drawing and got into makeup. I just felt like it was easier to customize and adjust makeup than it was to do classic art. I always put foundation on my eyelids, even now, even though you're not like supposed to, because it um, felt good. Never blended on the neck, never did that. That was illegal back then. I never did. What I did do that I'm not doing um, in this video is I used to set my makeup with flour like all-purpose flour. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'm surprised I didn't have like skin eating spores or animals on my face. So I'm just using the kimchi puff puff pass powder to get more of a desirable effect. I also didn't have facial hair, but I didn't want to um, go completely crazy and lose all sense of attractiveness just for a video. Now comes the painful part. I used to use this Royal Langnickel brush, this exact one. We're gonna pray because I used to use this brush. And the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This cost me a lot of money for something that I used for two weeks. And I, you know what? It's time to come clean. 
I used to have a black brown and people told me it looked good. So is it really my fault? No, because I went to a Catholic school full of hags of the, um, you know the variety of hags I'm talking about. The funny thing is, there is no pictures of me in high school to prove my point because I didn't have a phone until I was like a junior and I pretty much had stopped wearing makeup and like caring about anything at that point. So I didn't take any pictures. So I'm just going off my memory. Yeah, this is looking like it. And then let me tell you about something, guys. Let me tell you about... Then I'd wipe it off if I went too far. And then I have a huge mark right there, and who cares? It's not like anyone's looking. I distinct... This is like a sense memory right now. I distinctly remember taking the brush and flattening it across. Do I look like Gottmik right now? I distinctly remember wearing this exact makeup to a function at school. And my friend Chloe said I looked like fierce or whatever the 2017 equivalent of fierce was. I don't know if she was suffering from blindness or if she was just trying to be kind to me. Um, and then, the next thing I would do was go out. Because this is all I would do. This makeup look consisting of three products is all I would wear. Thankfully, after like a year, I discovered the errors of my ways and I got, um, I don't know about the, sh the shade match. I don't know if the shade match got better, but I know that the brows got better. I can insert a picture right here of my brows looking lovely when I was, I think a sophomore in high school. I didn't have any other products except for brows and foundation and flower. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was as hard for you to watch as it was for me to film. Um, should I go back to wearing my makeup like this? You guys just let me know in the comments. I can't believe this is only taking me 13 minutes to film because it's nothing, but it is somehow awful. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't unsubscribe. Come back for the next video. Please leave a comment. I need um, viewers. I'm gonna go take this off. Peace, y'all.